Blue ready, hut. Three star. Go, go. Right starting at 24 Indy on Monday. Ready? Ready. Hello there and welcome to an inside look at Southeastern football with head coach Mike Lucas, presented by North Oaks Regional Medical Center. I'm Alan Waddell and coming up over the next half hour, we'll take a look at the Lions' big victory over South Dakota. We'll also see what the experience was like in the Victory Club as Strawberry Stadium was reopened uh, this year. And also, we're going to look ahead to the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs. But first, let me welcome to the show the head coach of the Southeastern Lions, Mike Lucas. Coach, it's another week and here we are again. Smiles for everybody with a big win this week. Coach, you talk about the, the big win. 31-30 uh, comes down to the last play of the ball game, literally. Uh, but you'll take a win any way you can get it. We'll take a win any way we can get it. There was a lot of people coming down out of the stands going, great game, exciting game. It was maybe a little too exciting for me there at the end. But uh, we'll take a win any way we can get it. And we pumped him up all week. The quarterback was as good as advertised, Noah Shepard. Maybe the best quarterback you're going to face all year. Uh, we tried everything. You know, we, we tried to rush three and, and play coverage, and then he would scramble out and uh, make yardage with his feet. And uh, we, we tried to blitz him, and he evaded us in the backfield, and, and he threw some really great balls. Well, Coach, you start 1-0 at home. You talked about all in the offseason. We've got to win our home games. Well, you won the first home game. How big was it playing at home this week? Oh, it was huge. You know, uh, first home game, first time a lot of the guys were playing in front of their parents, first time the victory clubs open. Uh, there was it was really exciting in the pregame and Rumi getting unveiled the new Rumi so the, there was a lot of new stuff happening. Welcome back to an inside look at Southeastern football with head coach Mike Lucas presented by North Oaks Regional Medical Center. It's now time to take a look at the first half highlights against South Dakota. Well it started out to be a rainy night here in Hammond and uh, there was a lot of celebration going on with the ribbon cutting ceremony for the new facility. Uh, we were fired up when we came out. Our kids were really excited about playing in front of the home crowd. Great excitement on the opening kickoff. What a way to start it out. Uh, little tootie Andre Cryer from Kentwood. He hits it. Great blocking up front. Outruns their safety. Uh, touchdown for the Lions, but we get a, a call on a block in the back about 15 yards behind the return. Uh, questionable call. We've got to be smarter than that. We cannot be blocking behind the return man and not blocking in the back. Our offense comes out around the 50-yard line, getting the ball to Jay. Jay had one of his, well, he had his best game of the season uh, running the football. Our offensive line did a good job blocking for him up front. Brian gets hit in the back, fumbles the ball. We uh, messed up our protection right there. We did a better job of that for the rest of the ball game. Uh, they drive down the field with the help of... Uh, a pass interference penalty, and uh, they score a touchdown to go up on a 7-0. So the momentum change, we go from running the kickoff back to giving up seven. Big momentum swing there with those first two drives. We get the ball back. Brian throws to Chris Wilson. Chris had 11 catches on the night. Uh, Brian threw for 330 yards, very happy what Brian did, did a great job reading their coverages, spread the ball around to lots of different receivers. There's Chris Muhammad with one of his catches. Again, Brian did a great job throwing the football. There's Andre Cryer up the seam against their three deep zone. Brian did a great job reading their coverages all night long. Here's a run to Jay, good blocking up front. Kevin Hughes, uh, Brent Blazovich, Brad Barty. Hit that thing up right there behind Kevin Hughes for the touchdown to Jay. Josh Bridges blocked well all night. and Even uh, true freshman uh, Josh Penton got to get in. And David Ward played every snap at left tackle. They come out on their first play the next drive with a play action pass and our free safety trade Douglas bites on the play action and they throw a touchdown pass to Dan Skelly. We come back, throw the ball out in the flat again to uh, Chris Muhammad. An empty formation, no backs in the backfield. They did a little twist up front with their nose guard, another sack. I think they had three sacks on the night. Their quarterback did a really good job throwing the football. We had this young man at tight end. We had him covered like a blanket, and the quarterback put the ball just in the right spot. 14-7 at the end of the first quarter. 
not happy with where we are here at this point. Again, with them playing their corners off in a three deep zone, we had the underneath stuff all night out there in front of the corners. One of the catches for Chris Wilson. We punt the ball down. I think uh, Cody Samples, our punter, killed the ball three times inside the 20. It always helps when you can kill the ball down deep. Missed tackle there by Walter Vaughn. Should have had a hit in the backfield there. We're rushing three, playing coverage downfield. Pass break up there by uh, Brian Reynolds and Trey Douglas. We get the ball back. We throw a screen outside to Muhammad. They played the screen very well. This was a nip and tuck ball game at this point. Both sides getting after it. Brian takes a sack here, about a 12 yard loss on a third and eight. Talked to him when he came off the field about getting rid of the football and not taking that sack. They try to run the outside zone. Nice tackle there by Quentin Pierre taking the run through. Play action pass. Trying to throw the ball vertical up the seam. Play there by Tony Johnson on their tight end up the seam. Again, a run to Jay. Their defensive end came up field. A nice read by Brian, giving the ball on the zone read. This was a great play drawn up by Coach Condell. We fake the bootleg, throw back side to Jay, and Jay breaks three tackles and takes it in for the touchdown. That was a big play right before the half to tie the ball game at 14. Great call by Coach Condell. Very good execution by our offense. Jeff Turner with the extra point. 14-14 right before the half. Quarterback draw as their, their quarterback uh, Noah Shepard throws it as well as he can run it. <laughs> Runs it as well as he can throw it. Here they are, last play of the half. They try the Hail Mary, put three people in the end zone. Pass breaking up by Travis Williams. So we go in at halftime, 14-14.